It's Friday, which means music. Tonight on the 504, the band Water Seed has some new music for us to get us in the weekend spirit. Plus, we've got a Saints player in the house, but he's not here to talk about ball. He's here to talk about beer. You want to shake it a little bit? Shake my, my <laughs> beer? <laughs> the 504 starts right now. <laughs> the 504 new breweries are popping up all over our area one of the latest is called port orleans brewing company it opened earlier this month and we know zach streif is one of the new orleans saints but he's also a co-owner of port or new orleans port orleans, port orleans yes ma'am okay so i made up a whole name and that's you and right. dan so we both got a strike <laughs> that's to right start this that's show. right it's a rough rocky start <laughs> for us rocky, rocky start, start. Rocky i was start. trying to make you in a beer model you know like in the commercials you're much more of the beer model type i'm much more of the guy that's going to pour and drink the beer Okay, all right, fine, fair enough. Just stick to our roles. You all know? right, so this is cool. You're working in the off season. This is what you're working on. Tell us all about it. Yeah, so uh, there's a group of us, actually. There's six partners uh, in Port Orleans, and this has been kind of a, really like a four-year project oh, wow. um, of the group, of, of the thought of putting together a craft brewery in New Orleans mm -hmm. um, and, and doing something here. Obviously, around the country, this has become kind of a huge market. Uh, and in New Orleans, it's kind of just beginning. We're kind of yeah. in its infancy, and right now is really a big boom. And so uh, I got involved with this group, and uh, I'm pretty excited. We opened up a few weeks ago, and um, uh, just kind of excited to bring our product out to the market. Very nice. Okay, so I already confess to you, I'm not a beer drinker. So yes. this is not my tasting. But for people who like it and want to taste it, you were saying there's a proper way to pour it. There is. So what we're going to talk about real quick here is um, kind of how do you get the, the proper amount of aromas into the beer that you're drinking. When you're tasting the beer, there's only so much that you can actually taste. Most of it is in the aromas of the beer. Okay. And so this is kind of like a good example of like the beer you get in the restaurant, mm -hmm. right? So they pour the beer, it's all the way to the top, and there's no foam. And what basically happens with the head on the beer, so mm -hmm. the, the foam part of the beer is, uh, the CO2 rises to the top and that kind of delivers the aromas to your nose. Wow. So I that kind of no like, you can kind of see it dancing, yeah. right? You think of it more, even more so with a Coke. You can really see it kind of mm -hmm. dance off the top. Um, but what it does is it brings those aromas to your nose. So this is like the typical pour you get and you're losing a lot of the experience of drinking that beer. Okay, what so I'm this is the bad pour. This is the bad pour, yes. You're going to give me the good I'm going to attempt to give you the good pour. <laughs> you um, got this. Two things. One, I think when we did this one, we poured it mostly all over the table. But all right. Um, this will look, I, I would think, a lot more recognizable to like that perfect kind of what you want your beer to appear like. Okay. You're being so cautious here. Well, I didn't do a very good job. But, okay, so right here on the top, right? All right. And you can see this kind of head. And we'd really like about a half an inch of that. But you can see it kind of dance. If you take a sniff. Yeah. Okay. So it's got... That actually this smells beer in good. particular. I usually don't like the well, smell it's beer. not a very beery smell, right? I like so there's that a lot one. of caramel and chocolate and coffee yeah. in this one. Um, and so that experience of smelling it is going to transition into your brain and you're going to sense flavor based off the aromas, not only from your nose, but also uh, the aromas are going to go back in your nasal cavity in the back of your mouth. Hmm. So uh, it's important. And then again, once this kind of settles down, this is much better out of a tap system. Uh, but once they kind of settle down now, you've kind of lost a little bit of the aromas and there's not quite so much there anymore. Yeah, no, that one kind of smells like regular beer. Exactly. Mm. And so what we would like is for people to get to experience that beer. Um, obviously, our tap room is a perfect example of a place where you can go and really get that aroma and get the full experience of what it is that the brewmaster is trying to get for you. Very cool. So how many different kind of beers do you guys have? Uh, we currently have six. Um, okay. we, uh, we have a 16 tap system. So we'll when we're fully up and running uh, in production, we'll have 16 at a time in the tap room. Mm -hmm. uh, we have three beers in the market right now. These are two of them, the Riverfront Lager, the Slackwater Brown Ale. We also have a Storyville IPA okay. uh, that's out in the market right now. Do you have a favorite? I do have a favorite. Um, I like the Slackwater Brown Ale. Mm -hmm. um, actually, when we met and interviewed our brewmaster, um, he's from uh, Springfield, Missouri. Mm -hmm. uh, we loved his Brown Ale. Um, I think it's a really great beer. I actually think it's a great beer for New Orleans. It's actually very light, which is very uh, kind of 
You don't look at that and think light because it's a dark no, beer. And but I, think I smelled it and I think light. Yes, and it finishes really clean. It's actually a really nice, easy to drink, low alcohol beer for New Orleans. Cool. Um, and I All think right. people would really enjoy it. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for being here, Zach. You know, we yeah. love our New Orleans Saints and we support where you, whatever you're doing on and off the field. For more information on the brewery, guys, visit portorleansbrewingco.com. Well, we've got some more music your way. The band Water Seed is here, and we'll check in with them right after the break.